Mysteria D Lab on the bench. We have a Marantz 2270 vintage stereo receiver. The complaint is no sound. So I did power the receiver and the speaker protect relay is not activating. So let's see if we can figure out why. Now I'm going to power up the receiver and show you what you should see on the speaker protect relay. So the protection system is looking to see if there's DC voltage on either one of the final output units. That would indicate a shorted output or a driver. So it's always looking to see if there's zero volts. And that is on the blue and the yellow wires. Those go direct to the output modules. So I just turned on the receiver. Normally, after about five seconds, you'd hear the click of the protect relay saying all's well. So here is the blue wire. I've got zero volts. And here's the yellow. Also have zero volts. And that should switch to the white and orange leads. So this protect system is not recognizing the zero volts DC. And I think I know why. So here is that speaker protection board. And this relay turns on the outputs to your left and right speaker. So I talked to the owner and he said that this unit had not been powered up in years. When it came in, it was extremely dusty. You can still see some remnants of that. Looking at these filter caps, this one here looks pregnant. And of course they're old, right? So if you read online, the first thing that most companies do is change these caps. And since I'm seeing zero volts and these are old crusty caps, I'm gonna do that and we'll see if it works. All right, there's the old caps. So the protect board is completely recapped. Let's see if we get lucky. Hmm. I would say no. So I guess I'll be digging deeper into the operation of the speaker protect board, won't I? So I believe I have a transistor issue on the speaker protect board. So what I'm going to do is verify that the relay itself is okay. So I've hooked up a Heathkit power supply. It's low current. I'm bringing her up and see if we hear that relay click. There it is. So the relay is pulling in and that is the sound that we should be hearing if everything's okay. So now I need to check the voltages on the driver transistors. So this is difficult to show, but the driver transistor is H810. Should have about 0.7 volts on the base, and I do. That should activate the transistor and close the relay. But that doesn't appear to be happening. Let's look at the collector of that transistor and see what we got there. So I was able to clip the lead right on the collector of the transistor. So when it activates, we should see approximately 0.8 volts according to the schematic. Look at there. I've got almost 40 volts. So since the base voltage is correct, but the collector's not, I'm assuming that the emitter collector junction must be bad on this transistor. I'm gonna swap it. All right, here is the original driver transistor. It was a 2SC1213. I didn't have one of those on hand, but I have the trusty 123AP MPN transistor that pretty much works on all of these Marantz receivers. Let's see if we hear that relay. There she goes. The relay is closed. All right, for the fun of it, let's test that transistor that I pulled from the Marantz. I have my Heathkit IT3120. I actually built this when I was 15 years old. Every year, I used to get a Heathkit under the tree and I knew what that box was. All right, here we go. So I have a good transistor installed so you can see how it should look. So you go to beta, and you zero the meter. Then you go to Cal, you go full scale. And now when I hit beta, you should see the gain. So the meter should deflect to the left. 
now show you the gain of that transistor. And there it is. If this transistor were bad, it would not pass that test. Let's put in the one from the Marantz. So that original transistor from the Marantz is installed. And then beta. I can zero it. But look at my beta cal. Not budging. So we have an open junction on that transistor. It was definitely bad. All right. Excellent. Let's get some speakers on this thing and see if it plays. Oh, seems like it's All right, so she's playing. The controls are pretty dirty. I noticed uh, the tuning cap, you can hear that noise. So, need to get in there and clean that up. After you stop moving it, the noise goes away. And it looks like uh, indicator lights are out, as usual. But I can hear the stereo separation kicking in. So I believe the tuner's working just fine. Shutdowns have consequences and the pain is being felt. So I'm gonna clean the controls, see if the customer wants me to change those lamps. But the Marantz is on the road to recovery.